Hey, 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 what up, guys? What up, everybody? Uh, welcome back to a brand new tutorial from Grid 3D, and my name is Toby. So, this is just a short stuff to let you guys like to show you some hard surface techniques to in cutting out some shapes through shapes. Okay, so let's get started. I have brought, brought out these three um, shapes here so we can use that. So, circle will show us the each shape will show us different uh, techniques. I've actually recorded this, but I forgot. I didn't know I was not. I wasn't recording sound, so I'm just doing a commentary after after the recording. So my uh, everything might not go as I planned. So now what I'm trying to do here is now it's trying to cut out a uh, select the shape on this circle that gives us uh, an outside edge to work with and also an inside edge to work with. So I think. Try and select that now. Yeah, so it's gonna be like an L shape. Yeah, so this gives us an outside edge and also five outside edges and one inside edge. So we can work with that and sh show you guys how you can do that cleanly. So before you do anything, before you cut out any shape, what you wanna do is insert it. You always have to insert the shape. You always need to do that. So the in inserting the shape gives you control over a lot of things after you have cut out your shape. So now let's just extrude this in inwards. What am I doing? Yeah, let's extrude this. Okay. So the faces in there, we don't need that. So we're just gonna delete it. X and delete faces. Okay. So now as you can see the edges are rounded and we don't want that sometimes you might want that but now that's not what we want so we want to tighten the edges and what we would normally do is just uh, add in this loop, loop cuts i used to do this one time and that is not good it will leave us with some ugly artifacts on the body ugly bumps although our edges are sharp it also gave us sharp bodies on the sharp body on the sphere So there is a better way to do that. You can also use a shrink wrap modifier to do that, but I'm not gonna go over that in this tutorial, but maybe later on I'll show you guys how to do that. But for now, we're gonna use a different approach for that to tighten those edges. So as you can see now, if you take your knife tool and cut through to this side, you see that we can create a sharp edge just by doing that. And, and if you do it on the other side, the edge will even be cleaner. Okay, do it. Okay. So now it's clean, we won't have any sharp edge on the other on the body of the sphere, but now we have triangles. We have two triangles on the body of the sphere. And we have to, in Blender, you have to try as much as possible not to mix spheres with uh, triangles. That is really bad. But in some cases, you can avoid. You have to do that, but always try not to. Not to. So now let's see. But there's a way we can fix the triangle problem. We can add, uh, create a triangle for each triangle, so we can get a face for both sides. So by cutting a line through there. You can see we can now select here and this one too to get a face a four-sided face so as you can see we have a triangle for both sides so now you select the two and press F everything now is okay see we have a flat face with and tighten the edge just by doing that and no funny at artifacts at the end so I'm gonna go ahead and do this for all the sides. So for here, we we won't be able to tighten this edge as when we did not. Uh, insert it before we cut out the, the what we needed 
but we inserted it, we inset it so now we can be able to make those two lines act as a uh, proximity loops so we can tighten those edges so in order to do that we can just use our knife tool to cut this side through to the other side to the end so we can get a knife a nice cutout so now with we're turning the two uh, lines that went across uh, like an L shape to flat stuff so this way we can just press F and correct that so now we have a nice clean cut along the circle that isn't too affecting the rest of the body too much so I hope this is kind of helpful you can tweak this in a lot of ways there are a lot of techniques like this so make sure you subscribe so it can show you a lot of techniques like this so go in here and uh, let's see what we want to do here is cut out circles so before you be able to cut out circles like this you need to go in to uh, edit and hit preferences and go to add-ons so you can now search for loop tools and enable that add-ons just click the checkbox I can't go into that because my recording uh, my screen recorder will quit as long as I switch windows immediately I switch windows the screen recorder will just quit so now as you select the force uh, face just right click and go to loop tools and click circle so this will work for any circle and before you do this for any shape make sure you've applied all transforms on the shape before you do this or else you get funny looking circles so select for it and then just hit circle this can work for multiple faces too as long as they are a perfect square you get a perfect circle okay just do this right click uh, loop to circle right click loop to circle so hit C and uh, just quickly select all this oops yeah once I selected first thing you need to do inset as always never forget to inset before you cut out a shape or make a hole so I so I and just make that flat and bring out the new face nice and clean so that's cool just scale that down a little bit and inset it so now we have nice looking uh, holes you can use for hard surface modeling and use like tweak it and make some bolts whatever I don't know holes maybe so let's see so this one is the technique I used for my fire hydrant a friend of mine really wanted to know about it maybe he was having with it I don't know but I thought I should just make it an official tutorial because it could be helpful to other people so I just beveling a line here and then going to face select mode select one side so we want to select the whole thing around like one on and off but there's a better way to do that we can just select everything and go to select then check out the select then that will give you what you need so now all you need to do is make sure you're in individual origins and now you can inset I inset as always never forget to inset and repeat never forget to inset so now you've done that so change your uh, origin points your stuff to median points so you can be able to scale all of them inside change the median point yeah so now go into top view and scale that in so you can have nice bumps cool so now all you need to do is control R and just tighten some edges or no no before you do that we are going to scale the insides of it so this place I didn't really explain it well earlier when I was doing it. so if you want to scale it going to individual origins now scale this as you can see the top and the bottoms are scaling faster than the sides so what you want to do is scale the top and the bottom to the size you need first so hold on I'm about to do that scale the top scale it to reach top and bottom nice so that's pretty much enough that's enough come on stop okay so now you scale again scale again yeah scale again and then shift Z so you can cancel the scaling on the Z axis so you can now scale on both sides so you can now get an even scale 
so now you can just tighten both edges use these ones to control how much curve you want on both top and bottom ends so now let's see how that goes yeah that goes pretty much well let's move that up a bit okay that's cool now we have nice clean and cool uh what would i call it oval shapes cut in i don't know semi rectangles okay that is cool and in blender um this now the reason why we insert you can now see because we can now regulate the sharpness of those curves the curve to the inside so if you add in a loop cut here you can now sharpen this place pretty much well so you may need that for a model I don't know so so in blender as long as you have a subdiv modifier locked in uh, enabled on the object you can be able, what you need to do if you need a square if you need a circle use a square if you need a an oval shape use a rectangle so subdivision modifier will help you do the rest so if you want to tighten the edges use some hard surfing techniques hard surface modeling techniques to tighten the edges instead of just doing that okay uh, thank you guys for watching this one the music I played in background was provided to me by my brother he does some uh, sound design on on the side so thank you for watching make sure to be subscribed and like the video so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.